Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove any specific items from a JavaScript array. I created an array with five numbers. So I'm going to print that out on the console. As you can see, here's the array with the numbers. So I'm going to remove the second item. So how do we do that? I'm going to use the splice method. So now one thing you should know about JavaScript arrays is that they're zero index based. So that means that the first item is located at index zero, not one. So this one digit is stored at index zero. The next item is stored at index one, index two, index three, and index four. So for example, if I had characters, this would be zero, this would be one, this would be two. So in this array, I'm going to remove the second item, which is stored at index one. I'm going to type that in and splice takes a second argument, which basically tells us the length of the items we want to remove. In this case, we're just going to remove one. So let's take a look at what that looks like. As you can see, we removed one item, which was two from the original array. Now, if you want to remove the first item, change the first one to zero and run this code again. And we will remove the first item by doing that. Just keep in mind here that the first item is always stored at index zero, not one. The splice method can also remove multiple items. So let's remove three and four. Let's count zero, one, two. So this is starting with two. And the length of the items, also two. So let's go ahead and run that and you'll see that three and four were removed. Now, if you want to remove three items in a row, just change the second argument to three. And by doing that, you will see that we remove three, four and five from the end of this array. There's another case where you might want to remove items that match the same value. So here, for example, we have two B values in the same array. So how do we remove all of the B items by value? Uh, we can use the filter method. So the filter method is actually a higher order function and it allows us to specify an equation. So what exactly do we want to remove? And filter is called on the original array and you pass an item to it and you create an equation. So basically here, I is not equal B. Now the filter method takes an arrow function. I'm not going to go into arrow functions in this tutorial, but one thing I will say is that filter returns a copy of the original array. So that's why we reassign it back to itself. So it's going to create a copy in the original variable. That's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and output the results of the filter function in the console. And you will see that we have successfully filtered out all of the values that match value B. Now the filter function can use any equation, not just a simple equality operator, but at the very basic, this is how it works.